Hello everyone, this is HM1 Marone from NMRTC Bethesda. Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on the Navy College website and how to use TA. So I'm going to start off searching Navy College. I'm going to go to Tuition Assistance. And from this screen, this overview, it will show you what TA is, the steps to request it, command approval requirements, sailor responsibilities, uh, reimbursement of waivers, and resources and documents. Uh, really what's important is the initial steps if this is your first time requesting TA. Step one, inform your chain of command. Step two, there's two required trainings which you can access through here. Uh, this page or another page I'll show you in a bit. Uh, TA policy and procedures training and virtual counseling. Step three, receive education counseling from a counselor on this website. Step four, you got to choose a school, find your education plan, have an idea of what classes you're required to take for your educational goals. Once you've done all that, you will be allowed to submit to your application. Um, and once submitted and approved, then you'll be able to generate the actual voucher, the approved voucher, and get that to your school and pay for your tuition. All right. um, the real there are two main things that sailors are responsible for using Navy TA. Uh, one being you need to make sure that it's command approved, that you get it in in time, so it can be command approved at least 14 days prior to the start of the class. Second, and the obvious one, is you got to pass the class. If you don't pass, you're paying that back. The CO gets a letter from my Navy education. You don't want that. All right? So those are your two main responsibilities uh, when using TA. All right? Ensure, for your sake, it gets approved on time, command approved, 14 days prior to the start date. And secondly, make sure you pass. Okay, we're going back. All right, so from the left-hand side, we got My Navy Education slash TA. I'll show you exactly how to submit TA. Um, so there is a CAC login option, but you can also log in with your social. which is convenient if you're waiting on an application to be approved, trying to get the voucher to your school if you're on leave prior to the start date. Um, you can access this from home without a smart card reader, and it's just uh, convenient. Okay, so we're looking at tuition assistance. All right, from this screen, we've got uh, course catalogs, review applications, but you can also you know, check out current applications right here. Any issues you might be having, um, these two leaf looking things, um, tabs, these are the two trainings you've got to do uh, before seeking count, uh, counseling and finding a degree plan, okay? So you can see I've got one application in right now. Um, my course start date is October 5th, which is next week. It's been command approved for about a month, but it is the end of the fiscal year, so I, I imagine it's going to be approved by my Navy education and I'll get my voucher probably around the 1st of uh, October in the new fiscal year. You see in big red letters they tell you hey fiscal year funding limit has been reached courses starting in October are able to use next year's funds um, submit your applications now and your voucher will be authorized on or after 1 October. So here's where you would create a new application for next year's funds. And again they give you that reminder you know Ensure that your request is submitted and command approved a minimum of 14 days preceding the course start date. At the bottom, you see my personal funding status. Uh, every year you get $3,000 worth or $250 per semester hour. Um, 12 is the, is the cap for the fiscal year. And you can see what I've used. I've used $89 or $22,250 in TA. Um, so far in my career, and I'm only allotted 31 more credits uh, or semester hours in order to reach my bachelor's, okay? Um, so that's just a quick overview of, of where I'm at. Um, and if you're using it, if you're about to start using it, it's a good uh, reminder every time you go in to create an application, you can see how many credits or semester hours you have left in the, in the year. Um, so if I wanted to create a new application, got to accept all the agreements. If you fail, you're paying it back. 
uh, 14 days, remember, command approved 14 days prior to the course start date. I accept. All right, so here's what an application looks like. It's all electronic. Uh, your information auto fills up top. Your approver, um, your responsibility, just make sure whoever your approver can be at your command, whether it has to be an OIC or a DIVO or a, your chief, an E7 or above, uh, make sure you know command policy and, and that dictates that and you're, you're choosing the right approvers. From there, you've got your installation, the, the nearest college office, which autofills once you've created a profile and spoken with the counselor. Your school, it's in the system. They're tracking your degree plan. You have to put in your term start and end date, and then you would add a course. Uh, from here, you really just need the course ID, the number, the name. Um, here, we'll go into it real quick. I'll add a fake course. So say I'm taking history winter. All right, so the course information auto-populates. Location, web-based, online, um, distance learning. That's what I've always been to. This wouldn't be, this isn't the case for everybody. Uh, primary instruction mode, web internet, credit unit, semester hours, three. Cost per hour is 250 bucks. And that's the max TA will pay as well. Here you confirm. And now my, my course is in there. Minus, you know, with the exception of not having an approver in here, I can save and submit it, and it'll go to my approver. Uh, you have to give their email address, their their phone number, and their name. Um, but it, it's up to them at that point to approve it. And if you got to reach out to somebody and say, "Hey, please approve it," uh, I'm falling close to that two week window. Um, then feel free to do so. So that's how you create an application. It's very simple, um, and keep in mind you want to uh, you you want to ensure that your approver knows it's in queue for them, and and you're you're ready to pass this class. So I'm going to cancel that. That was just an example. Yep, yep, yep. I'm just going to go back. And uh, so once command approved, you're waiting on my Navy education. They're the, the big ones to give you final approval. Once they do, you'll get a message in your email. You can check back at this website um, or at this screen. You can see mine's command approved. I'm waiting for it to say, I believe it says just approved. Then I can open it up and I've got a voucher that I can email or upload to my um, school and then it's paid for. So that's a quick quick lesson on the Navy College website, just specifically looking at TA, um, how to submit, how to look at what you're still allotted. Um, and keep in mind, it's, it's typically four classes a year, um, one class a quarter, and you're working on, you're working towards your degree. This is filling block 44 of your eval. It is filling out your SOQ packages, your SOI packages, your map package. You really owe it to yourself to to be using TA and to be knocking out school. So when you do leave the Navy, you can have a fully paid for degree, and it's it's an awesome benefit that that more I feel like everyone should be using. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this training, and I'll see you out in the fleet.